question oral. Oral questions. The honourable member for Today, the Conservative government is closing eight Veterans Affairs offices. These offices provide specialized services to thousands of our veterans. They're being replaced by computers and a 1-800 number. Inexperienced staff from other departments do not have the training nor the experience to deal with these complex health issues. Veterans are rightly furious with this government. Why are Conservatives just steamrolling ahead with these reducing services cuts to the brave men and women of this country? Good question. Right. The Honourable Parliament Secretary, the Minister of Social Development. Mr. Speaker, our government has created 600 new points of service across the country to assist Canada's veterans. A critically injured veteran does not have to drive to a district office, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we will send a registered nurse or a case manager Much in better. a comfort of their home to yeah. assist them where the service is required. Yeah. Veterans who are seriously injured can count on our government to shovel their driveway, Mr. Speaker, clean their, uh, cut their grass, and also prepare meals in their homes, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. Yeah. The Honourable Member for Skin of Oakland. After all the broken Conservative promises to our veterans, that's another one they won't believe. Yeah. Veterans are not fear-mongering, they're worried. They will lose the long-term relationships that they've built with staff at their regional offices. These brave men and women have complex mental and physical health issues. Meanwhile, the Conservative Cabinet has doubled spending on their own regional offices. Are veterans really in less need of help than some travelling Conservative minister? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary, the Minister of Veterans Affairs. Mr. Speaker, since coming to office, our government has invested almost $5 billion additional funding to help veterans provide services and benefits. And Mr. Speaker, some of these offices that are being merged with Service Canada, we will make sure that each of these eight offices have a fully trained Service Canada uh, the, sorry, Veterans Affairs Canada employee trained exactly. to provide the assistance yes. that is necessary. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Skeena Boko Valley. Speaker, under Canadian law, it is illegal for the communication security establishment to target and spy on Canadians or anyone inside of Canada's borders. This is an agency directly under control of the Minister of Defence. Can the government tell Canadians why this agency was tracking and spying on Canadians in our airports. The Honourable Minister of National Defence. It's my understanding that CSEC made it clear to CBC that nothing in the documents that they had obtained showed that Canadian communications were targeted, collected, or used, nor that travellers' movements were tracked. 